Coming up in today's episode, how to optimize your website for different countries, a special offer that you don't want to miss, and a great tool to measure your search engine rankings. Welcome to another episode of the Internet Marketing Show, brought to you at theinternetmarketingshow.com. Well, I was going to go out on location and do some filming this week. However, as our nearest football team, Burnley, just got promoted to the Premier League, I felt the local roads might be a little congested. So well done, Burnley, and what an exciting prospect next season will be for the Northern Clubs. Anyway, let's get straight in to our first section, Ask Mark. This week's question comes from James McCullen, and he asked, Mark, I'm setting up an e-commerce Christmas website soon and want to target the USA as well as the UK. Although I'm up to speed on optimizing for UK market, what relevant changes will I need to do for the Google to pick up my site in the USA? It's a great question. Firstly, I would decide which market is more important to optimize for, either the UK or the US, and specifically target that market. However, Let's assume that you've tested selling the, uh, to the US by using some pay-per-click and you find that they are converting far more of the American visitors into buyers than UK visitors. If that's the case, then there's a few things you can do to optimize your site for the USA rather than for UK. But be warned, as these strategies are likely to reduce your UK search engine results. Firstly, make sure you have a .com domain name. Secondly, move your website onto a server in the USA. And then try to obtain as many inward links to your website from relevant sites that are located in America or on American servers. Now, I'm taking a guess, but you'll probably find that the UK market will be far more receptive to your website than the Americans. So you probably won't need to do that, be that drastic. Providing you use good optimization methods, you should still appear in the US search results anyway. However, if you need to give them a boost, simply acquiring some links from American websites should do the trick. Another thing you might want to consider is creating a Google account and registering for Webmaster Tools. It's free to use and once logged in, you can specifically tell Google which countries you wish to target. The jury is still out on whether this has any effect in the US search results or not, but it's well worth making sure that you include the US in Webmaster Tools just so that Google knows you can provide services and goods to that country. So James, I hope that helps. And as we use your question in the show, he wins three months subscription to the Marketers Inner Circle, which contains a monthly printed entrepreneur newsletter and audio CD packed full of ready to use internet marketing tips and strategies, along with interviews of successful entrepreneurs and industry experts. Now, if you've thought about joining the Marketers Inner Circle for yourself, we currently have a very special offer for you. For the next 14 days only, as a regular viewer of the Internet Marketing Show, you can claim one month's free trial, along with a bonus package of internet marketing products and training worth over £350. There's no obligation to remain a member. You can cancel it at any time, and I'll even let you keep the bonuses as a thank you for giving it a go. For more information on how to claim, click on the link below in the show notes. However, if you're watching this after the 11th of June, I'm afraid the opportunity is closed. And with that said, now it's time for Tool of the Week. This week, I'd like to talk about Market Leap. Market Leap at marketleap.com is a great online tool which will allow you to measure your website's online awareness and overall visibility. It's completely free to use, and here's a few things it can do for you. You can compare your website's inward links against your competitors and they will allow you to view where your competitors' websites are getting their inward links from. You can see how many pages of your website each search engine has indexed in their results. And also a nifty keyword verification tool which checks to see if your site is in the top three pages of each search engine result for a specific keyword. 
Market Leap can give you a wealth of information about your site's performance in the search engines. So it's well worth taking a look. Head over to marketleap.com today and check it out. OK, now it's time to announce last week's comment winner, who wins the Cinemax Mini Digital Photo Frame. And the winner is Heinz Hose for comment number one. Well done Heinz, we'll be in touch for your delivery details soon and have fun with that. Well, that's all we have time for this week. Don't forget to leave a comment using the comment link above and make sure you check out the Inner Circle offer using the link in the show notes below. Stay tuned until next week when I'll be answering more of your burning internet marketing questions and revealing another tool that can help you with your online business. So until next time, I'm Mark Bowden, wishing the best of success with your online business.